The brave soldiers who fought in World War II literally saved the world, and yet many of us don't know the personal stories or what life was like during the war. Well, author Charlie Valera is sharing some of those accounts with his book, My Father's War, and he's here now to tell us all about it. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely a great pleasure to have you here. Uh, certainly when we think World War II, uh, many images, uh, many uh, thoughts come to mind immediately. Talk about why you really wanted to pursue this project in what you're really trying to accomplish with this remarkable account. Well, you know, uh, when my father died, uh, he hardly ever talked about World War II. Although we did sit and watch the movies with him and stuff, but he hardly ever talked about it. Then years after he died, like right. 15 years later, we found out, geez, the old man really was uh, a big part of it. He was everywhere uh, as just a support guy. So what I wanted to do was get their stories by interviewing different veterans and, and not really the generals, but to find out what they did so that their families, grandchildren, would have a better understanding about their parents. That really is something that really can be sort of a legacy, if you will. Certainly, we, we don't want to forget these brave individuals for the sacrifices they made. We want to honor them. And is that really what you're trying to capture overall here within the book? Yeah, uh, it's not just to honor them, but to get a better understanding. You know, we're going to honor them is a byproduct of understanding them. So I wanted people to understand what the details were like. What was it like to be marching behind a tank while they were shooting at you? What was it like to sleep in a foxhole? Did you really do that? Or is this just a black and white clip? These, these people, they were amazing. And they just kind of kept it to themselves for all these years. And when you're interviewing these these individuals, what's going through your mind? Are you totally taken <laughs> aback? Are you just sitting there speechless? Have they rendered you to a point where you don't know what to say? What's it like for you interviewing them? Well, you know, it's funny because what I've done is I've set up a video camera to interview when I interview them because, yeah, I get... I get all caught up in it. It's like, you're kidding, you did that? Oh my God. And now all of a sudden, you know, you're not the interviewer because I'm not a professional like yourself where, you know, you're used to knowing when to stand back. So by having the video camera on them, I was able to go back later and not paraphrase, but get it firsthand. Sure. And it's okay if I get caught up because I have it all on tape. And talk about the response. I mean, certainly the book is out there. The, you, you can hold it in your hands. It's tangible. We can, yeah. we can read it. But talk about what the response has been like so far. Amazing. Yep. It really, really has been. You know, when I did this, I was concerned about the family. And I wanted to make sure that they were going to be proud when they read this book and learn about their family. So they've reached out to me in an incredible way. When I do book signings, they come with me. A lot of the guys will show up. I did a book launch party and I had 11 of the veterans in the book show up. Everybody signing books. There were probably four or 500 people that showed up and it was like a two hour line. It was the coolest thing and these guys are heroes. Well, they certainly deserve to be honored. They deserve all of the recognition in the yeah. world. This is a laudable pursuit and you, sir, are to be commended for putting these stories to paper. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. Thanks Thank you very much. Here, Charlie. You, Thanks for having you me. can get more of these stories in Charlie's book, My Father's War. It's available now.